Hallelujah. When the Lord gave the blessing to Abraham, or when the Lord gave the mandate to Abraham, and that in you all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. That's the mandate. In you all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. In you all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. God knew that all the nations of the earth cannot be blessed until the blessing comes. The mandate is to ensure that in one man, every human on earth will receive a blessing. But there must be a blessing God will place upon that man for that mandate to come to pass. And Galatians chapter 3 now made us understand that the blessing is the spirit. Say the spirit. The spirit is the blessing by which every nation on the earth can be blessed in Abraham. For it's by the spirit that we all become part of the of the particular of the covenant by the spirit. By the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Galatians the three minutes made us understand that the blessing of Abraham is not money. The blessing of Abraham is not riches. The blessing of Abraham is not just long life. The blessing of Abraham is not that he had many children. The blessing of Abraham is the promise of the Spirit. What is the blessing of Abraham? What is the blessing of Abraham? The blessing of Abraham is the promise of the Spirit. For the man that partakes in the, of the Spirit is the man that can partake in the covenant of Abraham. If you don't have the Spirit, you are not a child in the covenant of Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem with the believer or many believers is that they think the blessing is are things they think the blessing are things things that can be seen so when they don't have things that can be seen they start doubting if they are really blessed of God but in God's idea God is giving you the blessing that the blessing might make rich did you read in the book of Proverbs is the blessing of the Lord that watch and that means the blessing is not riches are you here with me? The blessing makes rich. Are you here with me? The blessing brings fruitfulness. So if you look at your life and it seems as if there is no wealth, there are no riches around you, don't doubt the blessing. The blessing is in you.